Good morning, traders. I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures. Friday morning, we're here to talk to you about the grain markets. Okay, the corn market. The February crop report was, was bullish for corn. I think the worst fundamentals of corn are behind us here. Uh, export sales in corn yesterday, very stout. This appears to continue here. So, and also you're talking about fewer corn acres this spring. So the lows seem to be in here and we're trending higher. You can see our first chart of corn, nice chart moving higher here. So we'll see if this continues. Again, every week I get on here and talk about exports and exports are very important and they continue to be very robust for corn. The last five weeks we've averaged 1.8 million metric tons of corn. So let's keep this going. Okay, the soybean market. See if you can look at some of these archive webinars that we've done here in the previous weeks and I've talked to you about soybean meal. Here's our chart of soybean meal again. You can see a monster gap higher once again. So very strong performance in soybean meal. Argentina, it's hot and dry there. They're the biggest soybean meal shipper in the world today. So that makes sense to me. You know, we've got some issues in Argentina. So this soybean meal is gonna be sourced somewhere else in the world. What better place than USA? So look at this soybean meal. It's very strong here. Looks a little bit overbought, but we'll keep talking about that. Okay, soybeans. Uh, China's on a lunar holiday here for the week, so they're gonna slow down on their U.S. purchases of U.S. soybeans. But we'll kind of see uh, this demand for soybeans gonna continue in our lifetime. Very good story there. Uh, okay, and then the wheat market here, the charts on wheat, very similar to corn. Uh, there is a drought in the plains, and I think for a general statement, a very good time to have a drought is in the winter time here. So like I'd mentioned a couple of weeks ago, you talk to Kansas wheat farmers and one of them will tell you, boy, my wheat acres, they really look bad. If things don't improve, I'm gonna call it in and, and take insurance on it. You talk to another Kansas wheat farmer and he'll tell you the wheat looks bad. It always looks bad in the winter. So you really never know until the combines start rolling this spring. But, uh, you know, wrapping this up, commodity markets are starting to move around. Grain markets are starting to move around. So it, it looks pretty good here. You got a lower dollar and it's just the time of year, I think, that you buy weakness and not sell strength. I think most important in the short term, we're closed Monday. It's a weather market in Argentina. Markets are nervous. We'll see if these grain markets don't open higher Monday night when we come back to these markets. Everybody have an excellent weekend.